Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today I am going to be sharing my top six favorite skincare products of 2019. I really try to bring this down to top five, um, but I just couldn't. So it's top six. Um, I found so many great skincare products in 2019. Honestly, this list could have been like 20 products long. Uh, some of you are probably going to be like, but what about? <laughs> and yeah, I mean, if it's something that I talked about quite a bit in 2019, it probably totally could have been in this video. But in the interest of keeping this video somewhat brief, somewhat, because I talk too much. Um, but in the interest of keeping this somewhat brief, I whittled it down to just six products that, um, I really found to make such a big difference in my skin and um, I'm gonna go ahead and share those six products with you guys today I will put links for everything in the description box down below so if you would like to go read up more about these products um, want to know where to purchase them all of that kind of information check out the description box without further ado let's get into it these are not in any particular type of order um, but yeah, I'm just going to grab the first thing that's in front of me. I had to pick a cleanser and I almost went with the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta, um, cleansing wash. I discovered that kind of not super late last year, but kind of a little bit later in the year. And I love it. Like that could have totally been in this video. 100%. But I find that the cleanser that I always go to that is so gentle, so effective, um, it's the Polish Choice Skin Balancing Oil Reducing Cleanser. So this one, for whatever reason, I just always tend to go back to. Um, it's so gentle, you guys. It really does do a great job of breaking down oil and dirt and makeup but it never strips or over dries my skin. And that's something that those of you with oily skin, um, it might be very tempting to buy cleansers that are very drying because you're like, yes, soak up that oil, get rid of the oil. But you don't actually want to do that. You don't want to use a crazy harsh cleanser on your face because you're just going to cause your oil production to go into overdrive. If your skin thinks <laughs> that um, it's incredibly dry and you naturally have oily skin, your skin is going to start producing even more oil in response to that, you know, oil being completely sucked out. So just be careful with your cleansers. That's kind of where like overproduction of oil can start is just with your cleansers. So this one is amazing. I have used it for years now. It is an old standby and I highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're someone who just has normal or combination skin, this is amazing. Um, if you are very dry, you probably want a more hydrating, creamy cleanser. That is not what this is. But if you are normal, combination, oily, very oily, this is a fantastic option. I love it. Second, um, you guys know if you've been with me for a while that I used to love marula oil. Well, Last year, I really transitioned into falling in love with um, squalane oil. So my personal favorite is the Biosance. Um, Biosance not only gives you a massive amount for what I think is a very fair price, I believe this particular 3.38 fluid ounce bottle is somewhere around like $32. Um, you know, it's more than what you would spend from the ordinary or whatever, but you're getting a ton of product and it's a really good quality one. This one soaks into my skin so quickly. I love squalane oil. Um, it mimics your skin's natural oils the closest. Um, the Biosance one is made from sugarcane, I believe. You can also get squalane oil um, made from, I think, olives. That tends to be the... Uh, the usual source um, for squalane oil that is vegan. <laughs> Obviously, you can get squalane oil from um, sharks as well. I, I don't support that, but this uh, vegan option here made from sugarcane is a really great option, and it just it works so well. 
it absorbs so quickly. Another reason that I love squalane oil is it also helps to soothe my eczema. It's beautiful, you guys. And um, I just, I love this stuff. Definitely, that is always going to be a repurchase for me. I actually already have a backup because I am on the last little bit here. I'm literally down right here at the bottom. So only a few more uses left here. Um, I use this on my face as well as my body. I think it's 100% worth it and I love it. Um, let's go back to another Paula's Choice product here. This is the Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster. Honestly, I, I could not live without this particular product. Um, I didn't discover it last year. I discovered it, I think, a couple years ago now. This made the biggest dif difference in my skin in terms of reducing the look of my pores and helping to keep my skin so much healthier and just so much more um, even looking and smooth. Um, once you stretch out the pore lining, it's very difficult to get it to return to its um, status that it was, you know, like when you were a kid. When you look at a child's face, like my daughter is seven, when I look at her skin, you can't even see the pores on her face yet. And I, it's just, it's so beautiful. <laughs> She has such gorgeous skin, um, and I'm very sorry that she's probably going to inherit my enlarged pores, but um, I do know that as long as we keep them treated with niacinamide, it's going to help to keep her pores looking much smaller than um, what they would normally. That is one thing that I'm kind of grateful for, is that I feel like all of this... Um, research that I've put into skincare and all of my experiences, I'll be able to pass that along to her. And maybe skincare won't be such a tricky thing for her when she's in middle school and she potentially starts breaking out. Um, I feel like I can help her with that. My mom just was not familiar with that stuff at all. I mean, she bought me a clear cell bar and was like, here you go. <laughs> Hopefully this helps. She just, you know, she didn't know. Um, but Anyway, niacinamide is amazing. This one from Paula's Choice is my go-to. This has never made me break out. It has a beautiful, really thin, watery consistency, so it absorbs very quickly into the skin. I use this straight up, but the boosters are meant to be used with other uh, serums or moisturizers or whatever else you have in your um, routine already. So you can just add those drops in. Um, next are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. I love these. I fell in love with these last year. These are something that I will not be without going forward. It's a two-step process. You have the, um, the peeling side over here, and then you have the neutralizer over here. This is something that I do a couple times a week now. Um, it just works so great at exfoliating the surface layers of my skin. Um, it keeps my skin looking really clear, really smooth. Um, it's not painful to use. It doesn't sting. It doesn't burn. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's just super crazy effective. And so many of you love these as well for good reason. They're amazing. Are they expensive? Yes. But a pack of 30 and at Sephora, they actually have a 30 pack plus like five free bonus ones in there. So you get 35 I think it's 80, either 80 or $88, so they're expensive, but really you don't need to use these every single day. Um, once a week, twice a week is plenty, um, and I just I think they're a really great product. I absolutely love this. Again, helps to keep my pores clear, helps to keep my skin exfoliated, um, just keeps my skin in tip-top condition, and I can't be without these. Um, I had to mention an eye cream. Eye creams are not necessary, just so you know. If you have a well-formulated moisturizer for your face that doesn't cause you to get milia underneath your eyes, use that. That's totally fine. But what I fell in love with last year, and you've heard me talk about this a million times, is the Strivectin Hyaluronic Tripeptide Gel Cream for Eyes. I love this. Not only does it help with puffiness if I have a little bit in the morning, but it hydrates the under eye area perfectly. Um, I can use this on my lids without any type of irritation. I've started treating like the entire eye area as of late. Um, this causes zero irritation. Um, it absorbs very quickly. No clogged pores or anything has ever happened with this. Um, 
little bit goes a long way. It's just wonderful. I think it makes my under eye area look a lot younger and keeps it beautifully hydrated. I just, I can't say enough good things about this. And the last product I actually don't have because I purchased this last year and I finished it last year and I have yet to repurchase it, but I will. Um, it's the Drunk Elephant A Passione. Um, so that is the retinol cream that Drunk Elephant came out with. I found it to be incredibly effective, very gentle, um, really lasted me a long while. And I was using it like several, several times a week sometimes as many as like five days a week. Um, I just found it to be one of the best like over the counter retinol, retinoid type products that I've ever used. And I've used quite a few. It's definitely also one of the more expensive ones and there are less expensive alternatives. But for me personally, that was the one that I liked the most. Um, it's just, it's amazing. So, and uh, yeah, that's it. Those are my six products that I absolutely loved. Again, could there be another 25 that I could have put in this video? Absolutely. Um, basically anything that I raved about last year, I still feel the same way about all of those products. There are just so many great products out there. There are constantly new things on the horizon. I love trying new skincare. I'm lucky in that I have some pretty tough skin. It's not sensitive at all. It's not easily irritated. Um, I can switch products in and out very easily. Um, but I do realize that a lot of people can't do that. So keep in mind, just because I'm able to switch things in and out constantly, that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to. So pay attention to your own, your own skin. Look at the ingredients, see if there's anything that you are either allergic to or sensitive to or you is a known irritant to your skin um, and just avoid those products. So I am just one person sharing my thoughts on what worked for me. Again, I'll put everything in the description box down below for you if you'd like to go read up more about those products. If you have any in-depth uh, questions about any of the things that I showed here today, Leave the questions in the comments section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you are new, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.